Jess, welcome back to another episode of Study with Jess. I hope you guys are having an awesome week and thank you so much for tuning in to my video. I'm really excited to be sharing with you three awesome things for this video. So the first two are study tips and the first tip is going to be about how to take some really, really cool class notes so that it's really easy and that you cover all the information that your teacher says. Sometimes you'll have a teacher that talks really, really quickly and you might struggle to write all of the information down. So I'm going to share a little tip with you to help you out there. And the second tip is what to do with your old class notes because sometimes you're going to need them in the future. So I'm going to talk about that. And then the third thing for this video is a DIY. And I love it because it involves washi tape and I'm obsessed with washi tape. So I'm sure that a lot of you guys know that already because I think a lot of my posts have different things with washi tape in them and I think I used it in my last video as well. And it's also pretty much all around my room decorating my boards and things like that. So yeah, that's going to be an awesome DIY to tune into. Yeah, I hope you like this video and without further ado, let's get started. Tip number one, develop your own shorthand for taking notes quickly. So I don't know about you guys, but I've had my fair share of teachers that tend to talk really fast. I also like to write my class notes by hand rather than take a laptop to class, which makes it even harder to keep up and take down all of the important information. I find that creating my own shorthand has really helped me to keep up in class and take really detailed notes, which always comes in handy when it's exam time and I'm trying to remember all of the important material I learned during the year. I like to use abbreviations, but sometimes I'll also use little symbols for common words such as therefore, and, or this means. There's really no particular rule when it comes to creating your own shorthand. You can pretty much use any symbols you like. Just make sure that your notes make sense to you. Tip number two. Label and file your notes somewhere safe in case you need to refer back to them. I know it can be pretty tempting at the end of the semester to just throw all of your notes away or banish them to the back of a cupboard so you never have to look at or think about them ever again. But usually the material you learn in class will relate to the following year's classwork. So it can be really helpful to store your notes somewhere safe so that you can always go back and read over them if you need to. I recommend keeping your class notes for at least the following year because it's less likely that you'll need to refer back to them in several years time. I like to keep my class notes in a folder or plastic pocket and I just use different coloured folders for each subject so that it's easy for me to identify my notes. thinking up new ways to be creative and spice up my stationery. This DIY is really simple, but I'm honestly obsessed with it. So to start, I'm taking a bunch of super cute washi tape and wrapping them around my plain and boring pencils. I'm covering my pencils starting just underneath the metal top and taping it all the way to the base of the pencil. I'm taping the top of the pencils with this really cool glittery washi tape. And there you have it. So 
So I think this is such a great way to spice up old and boring pencils that just seems to be lying around in your drawers. Plus, the next time someone asks to borrow your pencil in class, you can wow them with your super cute and definitely not boring pencils that you personalized. So that's all for this week's video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and I really hope that you love all the tips and the DIY that I showed you. And if you do do your own, if you do do, if you do recreate your own version of my DIY, then take a photo and upload it onto social media. Just use the hashtag study with Jess so that I can see all of your photos. I'd love to see if you do recreate any of the DIYs because I just love seeing all the stuff that you make and seeing you guys put your own twist on them. So yeah, if you do recreate it, then I'd love to see photos. And also make sure to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you loved all of the tips and the DIY because I'm going to be having more videos every week and I don't want you guys to miss out on my videos. So yeah, make sure you subscribe and also you can follow me on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook at Study With Jess. So yeah, that's all for this week. I hope you guys love the tips and I will see you guys next week. So have an awesome week and I love you guys. See you next week. Bye.